gate seven, final occasion, handler's up there. See he's lifting his hooves up and down every now and again. Al Jackman, 1800 meters, sent on their journey from the 1800 meter marker. Parallax, first one to break the line. Patronage is on the outside. Predators hard held and picked. Predator seemed to take an awkward stride there. Rachel Venica and Predator took an awkward stride. And that's probably just stirred up Predator for a stride or two. Al Jackman gets towards the inside. Races only two and a half lengths off them. And Predator, you can see, is on the right hand side. Smart Williams hard held. Alfredo. Final occasion. Donetto's tugging against the steel. Slightly quicker than the previous race, but still setting no speed records here. Winter time. Then comes the Gaul, so smooth and rocky coast, there's only eight lengths in it. Parallax just looking to go on a little bit better, there by a length and a quarter. Patronage is second, Al Jackman's hard held at the rail. Predators on the outside, Alfredo the black cap. Red cap of Smart William, also hard against the steel as they go past the 800 meter zone. Donetto has got about four and a half to make up. Final occasions on the inside. Winter time's further back with the Gaul. Rocky coast and so smooth. They're turning on the speed, homeward bound. 400 meters to go. Parallax had things his own way by a length. Patronage towards the outside. Predator. Smart William the Red Caps hunting for a way through Donetto. Al Jackman towards the inside. Patronage coming at Parallax. Predator's running on. Smart William now finds the gap. The Red Cap of Smart William comes at Parallax. 150 to go. Smart William and Parallax. Nothing in it. Smart William coming to get Parallax though. Smart William a half. Parallax second predator patronage Donetto. Oh, Mrs. Gobbler's horse has recorded back-to-back -back victories. Yes, Smart William, the son of Mambo in Seattle. Peter Muskets recorded three wins in two days thus far. And Jabba Jacobs has done the duty. Sandiso is the gentleman that wakes up in the early hours of the day and finishes in the late hours of the afternoon to look after Smart William and others. Well done to you, Sandiso. Congratulations. You get a thousand rand on behalf of the sponsors, Hollywood and Gold Circle. Well done. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Let's get Peter in while we wait for Jabu. Uh, nice weekend so far. Two, uh, three uh, winners and uh, you're not done for just yet. Well done. Yeah, um, obviously, huge congratulations to Cheryl. She's been exceptionally patient with this horse. There was a long time between drinks, between his first and second one, but it's amazing what confidence can do for a horse. You know, he, he won pretty well last time, and today's win was probably probably better and easier than, than it looked. He turned, turned for home with a... With a job would turn for home with a lap full of horse, just had to pick his run, and... When the run presented itself, he quickened very well. He actually run, won a good race today, I thought. I say it to, to anybody who cares to listen, he's by Mambo in Seattle. And uh, they can run a bit, these Mambos. Uh, they're good bread, and, uh, good bread and butter horses. Most certainly. You know, he's the most magnificent looking horse himself. I haven't uh, been privileged to work with too many. Uh, but what I can say about them is they're exceptionally tough individuals. Uh, they've, the majority have got good temperaments. Uh, you can step on them and they just keep on coming back for more. Yeah, you're quite right, Pete. You're quite right. And Okay, you're, before you go, the rest of your runners, uh, what can we expect? Uh, in the sixth race, I have a horse called Convexity who's ex returning for, from, a, from an extended break. Uh, he's a full brother to Surcharge, uh, Aka, Yulong Prince. Uh, so he certainly has got the pedigree. He's had a tie-back operation. Um, he was doing things all wrong in his races and, and trying to tear away. So we spent the past three or four months being very patient with him. Um, I think we have his head in the right space, uh, but I think he'll, re he'll need his return today. And in the same race, we have a horse called Mr. Pagal running. He's drawn out a bit deep. He ran a much improved race at his last start to run second. Uh, as I say, he has got, he's got a bit of a deep draw to overcome. But he's exceptionally well, uh, and if he gets some luck in transit, he certainly can be involved as well.
Thank you for your feedback and well done again for a fabulous two days thus far. Thank you very much, Warren. Jabu uh, Jake, yes. Obviously, huge congratulations and thanks again to our sponsors, Hollywood Bets. Spot on, lovely. Let's get Jabu Jacobs in. Well done, Jabu, and uh, a very nice race. And as Mr. Musket said, uh, uh, a lot of horse. You had a lot of horse underneath you in the home straight, and uh, he's duly obliged. Yes, uh, um, Mr. Musket just gave me easy instructions. Uh, he said to me, I just jump out, maybe I'll be half in. Uh, he jumped out very nicely. I came out, I was sitting fifth. He was cruising. When I asked him for a straight, he came up to the straight, he was just cruising. I just took my time, and when I asked him to quicken, he quickened and never stuff. It's the first time that you've won on Smart William, so it's a ride I'm sure you'd like to keep, you will keep, because, uh, you know, the way he's won, he's last two now, he could maybe go on and win another for Mrs. Yes. Gabler. Yes, definitely, sir. All the best to you the rest of the afternoon. What can we expect from you, Jabu? Uh, I've got some good rides coming up, uh, competitive rides. Um, Hot Money, Mr. Pigal and all of them, I think they're very competitive. Sterling, you've made uh, Mrs. Gabler and her family and Peter Musket and his family very happy. Well done. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to Mr. Musket for the opportunity and also well done to the winning owners, to my sponsors winning from. Thank you. And also to the Academy and Riding Masters. Excellent. Of thank course, you. to uh, the Academy and Riding Masters as well that put in so much work into these young apprentices. Smart William, well done to you, Cheryl, wherever you may be watching. And your gelding has won another good race here. Mouton Sook Bread. And uh, well done to Peter and Jenny Blythe, where member in Seattle stand at Clifton Stud. Give them a call. You go and have a look at him. He's the most magnificent stallion, and uh, they welcome visitors there. So go and have a look at this uh, top quality individual member in Seattle. Well, there we go. That's a wrap. Nine, five, three, and twelve. And Smart William has uh, recorded back-to-back -back victories. Race three's gone. Race four. The trainers I see are preparing for race four.